iron in the blast furnace. Emetite, which is iron ore, is added from the top. Carbon, which is coke, also added, and limestone, calcium carbonate, are the three raw materials in the extraction. Now, when the blast furnace is heated, the temperature above 1,500 degrees. At the top of the furnace, the temperature is between 150 degrees to 200 degrees. Now, iron ore is melted to form molten iron and molten slag. The slag rests or floats on the iron because it is lower in density. What are the reactions taking place? The first reaction there is the coke added combines with oxygen at high temperatures to form carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not a reducing agent. So the excess of coke at the top combines with the carbon dioxide formed from carbon monoxide, which is a very good reducing agent. So that reduces the iron ore to iron. Iron ore is being reduced to iron when carbon monoxide reacts with the iron ore. So iron is formed in that second process. But the other materials added are limestone. Limestone can be reduced by heat. When, when it's thermally decomposed, it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The calcium oxide can react with sand because iron ore is dug from underground, so it contains sand. Sand combines with calcium oxide to form what is called slag. Slag is calcium silicate. It is lower in density when compared with iron. That's the reason why it looks on iron. So it can be decanted off the iron surface. Um, the iron produced in the blast furnace is called peak iron. It is limited in uses because it contains about 5% carbon. Okay, uh, uses of peak iron includes uh, manufacturing free iron castings and steel making. But they can be purified to form cast iron. Cast iron contains a lower percentage, it is 3% carbon, used in making pipes, pots and pans, and anchor for ships. The best form of iron is wrought iron, it contains the lowest percentage of iron, less than 1% of carbon, used for making plates, for making iron doors, bars, etc.